So is Marvel Studios' upcoming animated series Zombies? Well, is it going to be based on the comics? This has been the question on everybody's mind ever since we got their first introduction back in Season 1 of What If? And now the Marvel head of streaming and animation has chimed in and given us a little clue how hard they're going to lean on the Kirkman comics. Let's dive in. Now before we do that though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are in the know. Well, we keep calling this year the year of Marvel animation, and so far, with X-Men 97 and a ton of new news, well, that seems to be shaking up. Brad Wonderbomb, who's the head of Marvel streaming, TV, and animation, well, he seems to be all over the place in recent months. He recently revealed the upcoming Eyes of Wakanda series will actually be part of the Sacred Timeline. That's massive. And now he seems to be hinting that the upcoming Marvel Zombies animated series will indeed draw a lot of inspiration from the original 2005 comic book. Now, in case you didn't know, that comic was designed by Sean Phillips and Robert Kirkman. And if you're a zombie fan, you recognize that second name because he is indeed the guy who created The Walking Dead. Now recently, Wonder Bomb sat down with IGN, and he teased quite a bit about the show and gave us a peek into how they're addressing the comics. He said, In terms of mature animation, yeah, we're making a Marvel zombie show right now, that's pretty intense, that's for sure a TVMA show. And again, it's trying to honor the comics, and what was so great about the comics was it not pulling its punches. That's certainly what we're going for on this project also. Now, originally, Marvel introduced zombies in What If Season 1, Episode 5, What If Zombies. The show gave us an alternate version of events that led up to Thanos invading Earth, and in the story, Ebony Maul and Cole Obsidian landed on a zombie-infected Earth. This Earth was completely destroyed because Hank Pym unintentionally released a virus a long time ago while he was trying to save his wife from the Quantum Realm. Now, this episode concluded with an absolutely destroyed Wakanda and a zombie-like Thanos brandishing an almost complete Infinity Gauntlet. Now, the 2005 comic series was quite different, and Marvel's heroes, who were already zombies when the story started, featured a large group of Avengers, X-Men, and Fantastic Four members transporting themselves into an alternate reality in order to satiate their hunger. At a certain point, a small group of zombies actually obtained cosmic power as a result of Galactus and the Silver Surfer having really terrible timing, and then things go off the rails. You can see, compared to what we got in What If Zombies, well, that is a completely different take and sets up a much different story. I highly suspect, just like the What If episode, they're going to completely alter the storyline of events, and we're not going to actually get that story. But they're going to use elements and aspects of the original comic to flesh out the show and try to give it a similar feel. We do know Zeb Wells of Robot Chicken fame is leading the development of the series and reportedly will only consist of four episodes. Wells will also write each script while Brian Andrews, who's probably best known for Jackie Chan Adventures, directs the series. Now, as of right now, we don't know when zombies are coming to life, but I do believe it'll be around Halloween this year. With it only being four episodes, that gives Marvel some unique opportunities on streaming platforms, and I'm sure they're going to take advantage of that during the holiday season. 